virtual library, which has uh, uh, computers, 50 computers, that when you will eventually arrive here, you will use them to access e-resources. So you are most welcome to partake of these uh, uh, items. For us to be able to service you, we have a working force of 15 staff members who help us to deliver these services to you. So anytime you want to be served by the library, these staff members will be able to uh, assist you. For you to be able to access our system, you will have to register with us. And because of the COVID situation, we will find a way by which we will enable you to register. Otherwise, if it was in a normal situation, you would come to the library and activate your account. But because of this situation, we will be able to send to you the steps by which you will use to register as a member of the library. And now, when I come to the library collection, we have a philosophy. Our philosophy says uh, we are a guardian of societal continual improvement through the provision of equitable access to information and knowledge. And we have a vision which says to be a globally renowned library focused on empowering its customers with information and knowledge mastery skills needed in education, science, research, technology, innovation, and extension. So we believe that we are able to serve you and we will be providing each one of you this book, each one of you will be able to be served at his time and you will be able to save your time and save our time. In the process, we will be growing this library. At the same time, we feel the strength between us will take us far. In a normal situation, the library opens from 8 to 9.45 p.m. on Monday to Friday, but because we are in a virtual environment. We can assist you any time of the day up to that 9.45 in a virtual environment. Uh, on Saturdays, we open from 9 to 2 p.m. And on Sunday to public holidays, we are closed. The library services range from borrowing and lending services we provide reading space for individual silent reading. We have a lot of space here. We have provided for distant, uh, 1.5 meter distance between people. Then we also provide assistance in locating information resources from the shelves. We also have a user education program, which we refer to as information literacy, which normally takes about a week to take the students through the steps of accessing our large library management system called COHA. So we will record a video and make it available to you so that you can navigate on the way we have to access the e-resources in that manner. Then uh, we have an exam bank where we have got examination papers for the past examinations which you can access. Then we have got e-library services where I talked about having 14 databases of our resources that you will be given passwords and then you'll be able to access. Then we have a special collection which have got books on high demand but they're not available in where but only one copy. So for you to borrow books, you borrow four books for a maximum of 14 days and you can renew them again. Then if you lose a material, you report to us. And if you delayed with the material, you pay a fine uh, that you will see uh, five shillings for the materials that are on long loan and 20 shillings for the materials that are on short loan. However, in the virtual environment, we do not go into the idea of those delays because you will not have taken our fiscal materials. So uh, basically, for you to be able to access the library website, you can log on to this web 
side and be able that, um, and be able to browse as much information as possible. I'll put it on the chat, the link to our library page down there. So if you click on it, you'll go straight into the library and you'll be able to see our services and all that we do for you. So because of time, I would not have been able to navigate through the whole page and be able to take you through the catalog. I'd be able to take you through the call number, the e-resources, the Google Scholar is for citation, it's to your repository is for the items that are special. Uh, the organogram is there, the library routes is there, the past papers, photo gallery is there, and all, we have another resource called Teal, which has agricultural resources. Then we also have Turn It In. For our students to graduate, they are supposed to pass their works through a software called Turn It In for authentication so that they are of high quality. It is right there on the page. And if you browse through the page, you will see a lot of services where they are found. And you will be able to see even useful links uh, to the rest of the resources and the other people we collaborate with. So because of uh, time, I may not be able to navigate through all that, but we will prepare our presentation and make it available to you. So if there are any questions, kindly uh, uh, let me hear them. But I can see uh, a few questions on the chat. Um, like when will room application begin? That is not for me. Can you please send me the cluster points? No, that's not for me. So, so far, I have not seen a question in relationship to the library. The questions which are on the chat are for other places. Do we have any one of you who may want to say something? You are welcome. Uh, thank you, Moses. Uh, I was doing something very small here for the students, but I don't know whether and if you have done it, please don't repeat. Uh, we are going to start our uh, our semester with uh, through online teaching. Uh, if I'm a student and uh, maybe somewhere in Migori or uh, at the banks of uh, Lake Trukana, can I access uh, some books in the library? If you have covered that, don't repeat it. But that was, I think, one of the things that we need to, the students need to know. Yes, thank you, Dean Juma. If you are a, our student at Kwani and you are in Turkana and you want to access our books, yes, you will be able to see the, what we call the, the, the instructions, the books, the, the way you will describe a book. You will be able to see it but the the book itself you will not be able to access it physically because they are on the shelves so once you log into our catalog you will be able to get the author the title and something called the call number which we will teach you once you get those, you will now be able to ask us, how can I be able to read the book? So if the book is available in the electronic environment, we will be able to send to you via your email a soft copy of that book. But if it is not available, we will give you an alternative uh, version of that book. So you will not be able to be sent the fiscal book to Drukana, but we will avail an electronic version of that book if it's available. But if it's not available, we will give you a scanned version of the sections of the books and that you will wish to read. For example, if you wanted to read page 10, we will scan page 10 and send to you only page 10. We will not be able to post 
or uh, or central pura the book to you i hope i'm clear on that yes uh, moses you are clear um any question i'm seeing on the screen uh, one student juma rigan hiram do you have a question If you have, please uh, ask. He's just enjoying the screen. Thank you so much uh, for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I don't know whether, uh, Moses, you have... Uh, I, I know you've covered very well uh, the way I know you. Um, um, there's one question here, uh, but I think you covered this asking from Enoch Ogechi. Ogechi, yes. sorry. Can yes. we have library cards or it is not necessary? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not seeing those questions. I'm seeing the old one. He was asking uh -huh. bundles. Okay. He is asking about library cards. Thank you. That's a good question. In this situation of Pan University, our library is something we call web-based. A web-based library, you do not need a physical card. You only need to present your student ID and we verify that you are a student and we register you in an electronic format. So once you have been registered, you will be given login credentials to access our core. However, when you need to borrow, any materials from the library. You do not need to present any library card, but you arrive at the library with your student ID only. When you give us your student ID only, then we are able to serve you. You don't carry any other extra item. For the situation of the virtual environment, you log into your, the library portal and request for the material you want in a virtual situation, and the request you will make will come straight to the library email. It is the library email I will type here is library at pu.ac.ke. Then once you have requested, that information comes to that email and we are able to respond to your question. So when you are in Mas Masaku, you are in Bugoma, you are in Nairobi, in Garissa, you do not need to have a student ID to request for any materials from us. No, you only need to log into the system and send a request. There is a, a, a place to send a request. Alternatively, you can write to us through that email and we can be able to res res re respond to your question. I hope all of you are seeing the library at pu.ac.ke email uh, email address down there so you don't need a library card uh, thank you so much moses uh, for that and uh, on behalf of the students i like to say we are happy uh, for your presentation and therefore we look forward to engage with you as we start this journey and till to the end of it uh, when they graduate. Um, so, yes. yes. So, Dean Juma, I wish to say yes. that uh, in the new dispensation, students will be required to access materials all the time online. And most of our students go to Google and Wikipedia. So, I need to caution that materials find found on Wikipedia and Google is not authentic, it is not authoritative, it is not verifiable, and it is not academic best. I am requesting our students to kindly, anytime they want to access resources for learning purposes, to get in touch with the librarians, the 14 librarians I mentioned, for you to be given verified and authoritative information which are citable, which are citable so that when you cite it or you quote it in your work or you read it, it is proven good work. You don't Google on the internet anything 
because we have got blockers, we have got fake news, we have got uh, propaganda, and all amount of information on Google which will be misleading. Kindly use the e-books and use the e-journal articles that the university has paid for for your use. And uh, if you want further assistance, I have put my email address down there. Which you can reach me should you need further assistance. And there is one who is saying, can one read a book online without accessing the bookshelf? The answer, yes, you can read and access e-books online without accessing the shelves. Thank you, Dean. Thank you very much, Moses. And as I said, uh, we look forward to engage with you. I am seeing now on the screen Professor uh, Mlewa Matete, uh, the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. And I would like to usher him in as because uh, his time is up now. So Professor Mlewa, please uh, take over. And thank you, Moses. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Juma. Uh, I want to start by congratulating our students and welcoming them formally to Pwani University. Uh, my name is Professor Mlewa Mwatete. Professor of Biological Sciences and the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. In that uh, regard, I wish to welcome you, not just to Pwani University, uh, but also to the School of Graduate Studies at Pwani uh, University. Uh, this is a school uh, that you are likely to join uh, after your first or bachelor's degree uh, program. Uh, that's some four or five years uh, down the line. Uh, we are located on the ground floor of the main administration building, uh, room uh, 412. Uh, that's where uh, we are located at Pwani University. Uh, you'll realize uh, that I, will, I am the last dean uh, to address you. And that is not by mistake, it is by design. Uh, and the reasons uh, for that are one, that you will be joining us uh, much later, as I've indicated after your undergraduate studies, once you uh, are awarded your bachelor's degree. Uh, the second reason is the School of Graduate Studies is the biggest and most diverse school. It encompasses all the other schools and disciplines uh, that offer programs at the postgraduate students. So whether you are in Kiswahili, uh, you are in uh, education, you are in physics, you are in biochemistry, uh, you belong to us. You are faculty or the lecturers, those who hold the uh, doctorate uh, degree are uh, members of uh, the School of the Graduate Studies. So we are quite uh, diverse and a large school. Uh, the third uh, and last reason probably is because we award uh, the bigger degrees, right? Uh, that's the master's uh, and the doctorate degrees uh, for those of you uh, that will qualify uh, to join uh, the uh, graduate school. and. I will later uh, tell you what are the entry requirements for uh, one to qualify for admission into this school. So what is our mission? 
are in Pwani University. Uh, our mission can be simplified uh, to a sentence or two. We are in the business of transforming scholars from being users of knowledge, which is what basically the undergraduate training uh, will do for you, to scholars that generate knowledge, right? So it is our business once you join uh, us to make sure that you become a generator of knowledge, not just a user of knowledge, uh, but one uh, who can generate knowledge for others uh, to use. Uh, we immortalize scholars. And this is something that we are very proud of, right? Uh, and immortalization uh, comes through publications of uh, your thesis research work or articles in publication arising from the work or the research that you'll conduct under supervision during your training uh, in graduate uh, school. That way then you become a published scholar who will be cited many, many years uh, down the line by other scholars. So our ultimate goal is uh, to is to uh, equip postgraduate students with adequate knowledge uh, to face challenges uh, of the highly dynamic and competitive uh, world. So once you join graduate school, uh, we endeavor uh, to ensure that we provide you with cutting edge uh, training uh, that will enable you to uh, perform uh, and excel in this uh, dynamic uh, world. Uh, the school is managed by the uh, Board of uh, Graduate Studies, uh, which I chair. And among the functions is to coordinate postgraduate programs uh, in all the schools uh, where they are domiciled. Uh, the programs are, of course, uh, domiciled in the academic departments uh, uh, of the various schools. Uh, but it is our business to make sure that uh, the training uh, is well coordinated, your progress is monitored, and we also oversee uh, the thesis examination uh, process. And finally, uh, we recommend uh, the award of uh, the master's or doctorate degree uh, to those candidates uh, who qualify. So why should I be addressing you now when uh, our potential uh, interaction uh, comes five or six years down the line? One, of course, is to bring uh, to your attention uh, of the existence uh, of uh, the School of Graduate Studies at Pwani University and that uh, the journey of scholarship uh, does not end upon the uh, you are attaining uh, the first degree or bachelor's uh, degree. You should aim uh, to uh, qualify for admission into a graduate uh, school uh, so that you can then become a renowned scholar and open opportunities for yourselves either in research career or uh, academic career uh, in the uh, universities. We are the school that produces uh, the lecturers that you'll be uh, interacting with in your various programs. They must have at, uh, at least gone through graduate school uh, to be able to stand before you and give uh, 
uh, knowledge to you. So what does it take for you to qualify or for one uh, to qualify for admission into a graduate school? Uh, the other deans, I want to believe, have, must have informed you uh, that uh, at the end of your four or five years training, uh, the degree that will be awarded uh, will be classified into first class honors, upper second class honors, lower second class honors, and pass. Now, for you to qualify for admission to graduate school, uh, you'll have to attain a first class or upper second class uh, in your undergraduate uh, degree. Uh, that will give you direct entry. You get it in August and in September, you start off uh, in graduate school. If you get a lower second, uh, we can accommodate you under conditions. And among these is two years of relevant experience or evidence of publication in scholarly uh, journals. So the purpose of my address uh, to you this morning is to alert you that as you embark on your academic journey at Pwani University, in whatever a degree program that you have been admitted to, always aim and plan uh, to open the doors for yourselves for admission into graduate school, uh, which means uh, you should plan and aim to attain a first class honors degree or upper second class honors degree uh, to qualify for direct entry. And if that does not uh, happen, uh, then uh, at least get an, a lower second where we'll uh, be able to admit you uh, after uh, two years of relevant uh, experience. So uh, I want to stop there. Uh, by wishing you all the best in your undergraduate uh, studies as I await to uh, welcome you to graduate school and formally admit you into graduate school uh, four or five years uh, down the line. Uh, thank you very much and have an enjoyable uh, first year, uh, first degree study at Pwani University. Dean Juma. Thank you, uh, Prof. Uh, I think uh, that was a very nice talk and uh, I listened very keenly. I think uh, the students have gained because it has been very uh, detailed and giving um, first-hand information about the School of uh, Graduate Studies. However, if there are any questions, uh, somebody can raise uh, and switch on the mic. Uh, then we can see him or her. Uh -huh. Anybody? Looks like, Prof, you have been very uh, eloquent and very clear uh, to the students. <laughs> Thank you. I can't see any question in the chat, neither uh, somebody raising his or her hand uh, to say something. Okay, Prof, then with that, unless you have a parting shot, then you can uh, leave you to attend to other. I know you are committed somewhere. I just want to wish all students uh, the very best. Uh, you have now an opportunity uh, to uh, start uh, your academic journey at the university. Uh, please plan and aim to get a degree classification that will open further doors, right? If you get a pass, uh, your goose is cooked. Uh, you will only uh, remain a bachelor's a degree holder. But if you get a upper first class or upper second, uh, then you open uh, so many other doors to opportunities. And all this is at your hands now. So. 
use your time well as you uh, pursue whatever program you have been admitted to. And at graduate school, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Prof. And we, on behalf of the students, I want to thank you for setting us aside time to come and talk to us. Uh, we are happy and we look forward uh, to knock your door uh, once we are through with the undergraduate uh, studies. And You're join welcome. here. You're welcome. Thank you and bye-bye. Um, yes, thank you so much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think now, uh, however, Prof, Prof, Professor Mleo, uh, you can't hear me, Prof? Yes, I can hear you. Maybe you have uh, the email address which you can type in the chat, then uh, maybe the students can even uh, give them to give it to their brothers or sisters or neighbors who may be interested on PhD or master's program. So the office email address, maybe it can help. I'll do that. I'll provide the email for the uh, school and my personal email, uh, which the students can use anytime uh, on the public chat. Okay, Prof. Thank you so much. Um, and by as we said, uh, now I like to call upon Newton, uh, our ICT manager. Uh, to take this uh, chance now to brief students about uh, the applications of ICT uh, into the learning and teaching process. Uh, Newton, please take on. Thank you, thank you, Dean. Uh, I take this opportunity to welcome uh, all the first years. I'm called uh, Newton Handebe in charge of ICT. And uh, I'll share with us, uh, just I will highlight what we do and how we are going to be uh, to be interacting and um, come next week we'll be able to have more time with you to take you through uh, various areas that uh, I'm going to highlight so I won't go in depth into them but I just take this opportunity to uh, to share with you uh, where you can get help in case of uh, uh, in case you need online assistance the first thing that i'm going to touch is uh, emails uh, communication will be done through uh, corporate uh, emails and uh, we have prepared corporate email or other student emails for each and every student now in order to be able to get your email uh, i have posted a link on uh, i posted a link earlier on uh, on the chat i will still post uh, the link again so the link that i have posted on the chat is what you will use to get your corporate uh, email so this is the email that will be used for uh, for communication. And then the corporate email is what you will use when you want to also access uh, internet. But guidelines on how to be able to access uh, internet will be able to share with you at length uh, next week. Two. Uh, I'd like to share something on uh, data bundles. 
Um, in order to be able to benefit from uh, subsidized data bundles, we are in collaboration with uh, Safaricom and uh, an institution that gives us internet called uh, Knet. So what we will do as an institution is that with the phone numbers that you have given us, we are going to share these phone numbers with Safaricom. Okay. And uh, what Safaricom will do, it's going to whitelist your phone number. Now, when your phone number is whitelisted, that will mean when you access uh, our e-learning uh, platform, which will take you through, you, the, the consumption of data will be below the market rate. In addition, when uh, you access uh, these, uh, the Keneta uh, conference, the bundles, uh, the rate of consumption of data bundles will be very, very low. And uh, all you will need is uh, 500 shillings. And with 500 shillings, you'll be able to get 10 GB of data. And this is sufficient to take you through an entire month uh, for, uh, for, for, for e-learning uh, purposes. And uh, we'll be able to uh, take you through on how to be able to subscribe uh, for the data bundles in depth come next week. Another area that we will assist you in is unit registration because it is very important that we register for our units online because if you do not register for the units online, you will not be able to get your results. And there is a difference between semester registration and units uh, registration. What we have done at the moment is semester registration. Now, after semester registration, there is unit registration. Semester registration is free. Okay? You don't need to have paid fees in order to register for the semester. Registering for the semester is very, very important because it helps the university to know that you have actually gotten into the institution. After registering for the semester, you need to now uh, register for the, uh, for the units. Okay? And uh, units registration will be opened up immediately after uh, inter, inter, inter school or intra school uh, transfer. So if you are here and you have not registered for the semester, I will urge you to kindly register for the, for the semester. Uh, the fourth thing I'd like to share with us is about the website. Now, when we are at home, I will encourage us to be visiting the website, especially on the announcements uh, section. This is an area that this is it's it's the equivalent of a, a notice board. Okay, so this is the university uh, notice board. So ensure you visit the website on the announcements section to. Uh, to see the latest uh, communication to us. We will also be using the student email. Uh, we'll be using the corporate uh, email uh, addresses for communication to so ensure that uh, you have your corporate uh, email uh, address and then uh, we will also be using our social media platforms, uh, Facebook and Twitter, for communication. So kindly ensure that you visit these uh, platforms in order to be able to uh, to know the latest uh, communication uh, to the students. 
I'd like also to touch on uh, e-learning. Our studies will be conducted uh, online, and uh, next week we also have a training on uh, e-learning on how you can be able to log in to the uh, to the e-learning platform and be able to uh, to get into uh, into a lecture. So ensure that you you log in for the ICT week. And then lastly, I'd like to share with us about uh, online uh, support. If you have a challenge, for instance, uh, you have an issue with a password, or for instance, you have an issue with uh, with your name, I would encourage you to use the our online uh, help desk platform, which uh, I've shared the link. I've just shared the link with us. Now, with this, if you have an issue, you just get to this platform and then you highlight the issue that you are facing and uh, this will reach us and uh, we will uh, respond, okay? So you do not need to come to the institution physically. I've seen some students come to the institution uh, physically and uh, it doesn't have to be that. So kindly use the online help desk and uh, we are going to be able to uh, assist you online wherever uh, wherever you are so uh, that's that is it from uh, uh, the ICT section we will continue we will interact now uh, in depth from uh, next week and uh, we are going to have a schedule for for training so by close of uh, by by say mid midday tomorrow, we are going to have the timetable that uh, we are going to to be using for for the ICT week. Alex, Karibuni Sana, Kwame, and I believe that uh, we'll have a, a fruitful time in this institution. Thank you so much, uh, Newton, uh, for that. Um, I don't know whether there is a question uh, for Newton from the floor, uh, students. Anybody with a question uh, to Newton? I have heard you uh, talk about uh, the bundles, and I think that is now clear to the students on how they can access. Uh, discounted uh, bundles. I can see Jafet ask, uh, "What about if we change the the number?" Uh, Jafet, as long as you have updated that number on uh, on on the portal, that is what we are going to use. And then, okay. you, uh, just a minute, Newton. Uh, so that means you are telling uh, Jaffet uh, to put the right number in the portal uh, because he says uh, what we are using is different from what he is using. So he should give us the correct number, isn't it? Yes, yes, Dean. And then Caroline is asking, uh, can you do the registration? online semester registration before actual registration. Now, registration is a process, eh? And uh, when you're doing semester registration, it is part of uh, of, uh, of, of registration. As, as you are doing that, you are actually uh, doing, doing registration. So it is one and the same thing. All those are components of online 
registration. Best if you want the email to be set up, I've shared a link for how you can be able to get uh, your email. We have already set up your emails. So for your sake, I'll just share the link again. Go to this link, you'll be able to get your uh, your email. Uh, George is asking um, if trying to update your profile, it brings up an error. You need to be good to know which error you are getting. But if you have challenges with uh, with uh, with the with the online uh, registration, we have a step by step uh, process that uh, you can be able to to use. Eh? And uh, possible errors that you are likely to get, and how to be able to uh, to overcome uh, the errors. So I'll just share with you uh, a link on uh, on how to be able to go through online registration and uh, how to be able to overcome the error that you are likely to, to get, yeah. Uh, Dean, I think I'm, uh, I'm done on, uh, on my end. Okay, um, I can see uh, you also have your team, Newton. Maybe there's something that they need to add. Uh, Peter, is Peter around? He's been with us for quite some time uh, on this matter. If Peter, you have something to say. No? Okay, he says he doesn't have anything to, to add. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I am scanning through the, uh, the chat, I also can't see anything uh, there, so can we say uh, thank you so much uh, Newton for that, have you talked about next week what you want to do with the students? Next week. Yes, yes, next week. You have already briefed them that next week you are going to have them? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then uh, I think thank you so much. And uh, we can release you and say bye-bye. Uh, we hope to interact with you uh, in the internet. And when the students come to the campus, uh, I am sure they are going to interact with you. Uh, in your office. Um, for that matter, students, I think we are coming to the end of our morning session uh, uh, on uh, orientation this week. We have been addressed by the directorates and the heads of sections. Um, however, um, we missed one of uh, one of um, the directorates, that is the directorate for uh, TVET. This is Professor Thorua. Uh, we shall see how we can create time for him to talk to us uh, from tomorrow uh, in the morning. At least he should be able to address us um, in that regard. Um, I want to, looking at the chat, there were some issues which were coming up uh, and, and I'm happy that the ICT team have been responding to these uh, issues, but I want to emphasize on some of them. One of it is registration. For purposes of planning, the university has to set a period for registration. But if for good reasons you have missed that period, please go ahead and register yourself. We shall not create another period for you uh, to register. 
So the best thing to do instead of asking what do I do, it is a past registration period, just go ahead. Um, however, in the, I'm sure in the next uh, one or so weeks, uh, they are going to close those portals and there will be no more registration. So use this time uh, to do the registration. Number two, tied to that is the issue of uh, fee payments. Oh, I did not pay. I was supposed to pay. I have not paid. The best thing is just to pay. When you pay, the story changes that I have paid, but I paid yesterday or I paid late. Instead of asking what do I do, just pay because at the end of it, you will have to pay. And what happens when you pay, uh, dear students, know that this money is put into your account. And then it is utilized by yourself through regist registering yourself and following the classes. If you have paid and deferred for good reasons, you thought that you cannot continue, so you have deferred your studies, then everything freezes at that point until the time you resurrect your studentship, then now funds start being utilized. So it's always advisable, particularly for those students who have challenges in getting funding, keep on paying uh, fees into your account so that you have uh, you are saving in that, that account, then when is the time due for registration, you don't have any challenges uh, to do um, the registration. So I thought I should clarify that, uh, that if you are late, uh, please uh, just go ahead, pay, and do the registration. Now, on the fee payment, we don't receive cash at the university. You are supposed to pay uh, at the bank, and there are various banks. If you look at your invitation letter, there are various banks and even their bank uh, account numbers are indicated. So this is what you are supposed uh, to use. I cautioned you yesterday that um, if you are paying, uh, just pay to the bank. Don't uh, start entertaining uh, Call men or people around the bank, people are there, they know some of them with bad intentions. They know that you are about to report to Pan University and they can be there pretending to be helping you, but it can end in a very sad situation. So please pay to the bank. And what I know is the university has a memorandum of understanding with the various banks such that once you pay, they do reconciliation every, I think, every uh, end of the day or the business day. They reconcile their data from the bank with the university such that if there are any payments, then the university gets notified and they see your name and the amount that you have paid to the university. Keep your uh, bank slip in case the university does not capture that, then you can prove that with your bank slip. Otherwise, they will not uh, like to have it. They will not need it at all. They will just uh, pick it straight from the reports which they get uh, from the bank. There's also a provision for you to use M-Pesa. It is also indicated in your admission letters. There's a pay bill number which you pay. Perhaps this is one of the the quickest uh, of the main of the options which are there because i think after about one hour or two hours the bank and uh, the university is aware of your payment uh that means it reflects in the accounts i mean the finance office immediately uh, much faster than when you pay through the bank so within one hour i think uh the university updates the uh, mpesa account and they can get your payment uh, there. So follow the instructions using uh, the pay bill number. Um, so that I conclude, uh, 
also want to highlight on a few things. Uh, you have realized that the internet is the key thing now going forward because of the challenges that we've had. I talked, I think, the day before yesterday that it is good now, since you know what is ahead of you, please, guardians, uh, parents, and students, uh, we need to prepare ourselves to the new eventualities. That is online teaching, online examinations, online that, online that. So we need to up our skills and also um, prepare the resources that we need for us to be able to do these things. Uh, I've seen so many people asking, is the laptop, laptop important? whatever is important, what is important. Yes, you need all these things which can support you to do uh, online teaching, online learning, online uh, registration, online what, online what, examinations, and so on. So you need uh, to get uh, a good laptop uh, which has a webcam and which can be connected to the internet uh, or a good smartphone which can also pick, I think, most of the Androids and all these, uh, uh, they pick internet very well. You can be able to follow your classes and you can be able to do your assignments at both those phones. So it's good to invest because we are starting now uh, a business of learning. Uh, so you need to invest. Any business you, you, you do, you need to invest. So we need to invest with the resources so that we can be able uh, uh, to follow all this uh, that is required uh, of us. Um, it is therefore important that we have our emails captured correctly and our uh, mobile number phones also captured correctly. When you are doing your registration, it is up to you to tell us all these details, the correct details. Some of you were admitted or picked by KUCCPS using your parents' mobile numbers. I've seen one who says, oh, all the uh, information from the university is going to my mother. It's because you presented that uh, number of your mother. We don't know your mother. And we cannot, uh, you know, just be sending to her instead of you. It's because when we picked this data or this information from KUCCPS, that is what you had present. But you have an opportunity now when you are registering that you can change this and give us the correct information that we need. Then others go to cyber cafes and they don't have any you know, emails. They use the emails of the cyber cafe people to do all this what is required uh, in the registration process. Know what? All the information that we need to send to you will also be going to that cyber cafe email address. The best thing is go to the cyber cafe, go to Google, and open your email account so that when you are doing all these processes, you are using your own account, which you have uh, your username and you know the password. Nobody will access that email because that would be your email address. It is important, ladies and gentlemen, that we provide the uh, correct uh, contacts um, from the beginning so that we don't have any uh, challenges uh, going forward in, 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 in as much as is concerned with the uh, communication. It's not now, it's, we, I think it is past the old age of communicating in notice boards, communicating, you know, in a, you know going out in assemblies, and then the dean or the, the registrar is addressing you. That, I think, uh, went away once COVID-19 arrived, and I think now we need to embrace the issue of uh, uh, online so that uh, it is faster, in fact, uh, you just get the information immediately, the email, the memo is re released, it goes straight to your email uh, uh, mailbox, 
and then you are able to do uh, what uh, you are required uh, to do. So, uh, we are going to avail. In fact, what I know is that um, the ICT team is uh, uh, screening this, is broadcasting this, uh, these proceedings live uh, uh, through the YouTube. So if you're interested to see what happened um, last, uh, yesterday or the other day, if you go to YouTube, you should be able to pick this clip uh, of the proceedings uh, that we had. And if not, uh, Newton, I'm sure, is listening, and Peter, they can avail this uh, for you. I'm seeing some links which are being uh, posted here, and uh, you can follow those links, and you'll be able to, to get all the proceedings uh, which uh, we have been having. Uh, then there is another question which is keeps on coming. Some are calling me, uh, texting me, oh, I don't have transcripts, I don't have uh, whatever, I don't have whatever. Well, um, let us treat this case by case. We cannot have a blanket answer into this, and the person to address this issue is the registrar. The registrar is the person who signed a letter which invited you. He, he got some information from KUCCPS that you had done well in your standard eight and done well in your form four, and therefore you should be admitted to the university to take blah, blah kind of a degree. So this is the person that you should be addressing uh, this challenge of not having KCSC result slip or certificate or a living certificate, uh, something like that, that will be handled by the registrar. The registrar uh, will give you perhaps a period of time within which you are supposed uh, to uh, bring uh, those documents. Otherwise, you get deregistered and your admission cancelled in that mm -hmm. case. So the registrar, I'll take this to the registrar, and I think you have his email address. Uh, if you don't, you can use my email address, and then we can, from there, we can be able to download and pick your name and list you and uh, perhaps communicate to you on what you should do. I will not have an answer at the moment. The answer will come from the, the registrar. Um, there are also some questions about... Uh, uh, hostel booking, uh, what is happening to it, uh, Eunice, uh, David, there was a window for booking of, uh, online booking of hostels. I personally went to the university website and I think all students make a habit, kindly make a habit every morning, every evening, go to the university website and see what is new, what is new and what is important for you. There were some guidelines which were placed in the website and I followed them step by step. I'm sure after the registration, you can be prompted, if you so wish, to now do online booking of hostels. And I think, and I think it's ongoing. ongoing. It's ongoing, it's ongoing. and... and Omondi, please. Okay, I have a question. You have a question? Yeah. Okay, can I pause at that point and then leave you to ask? Can you ask? Okay, and the, about the banks. You guys indicated that specifically it, it is Kilifi branch. Kilifi? Kilifi branch. So does it mean that I have to be physically in Kilifi to pay the fee so I can use the branches in other counties? Thank you so much, Monday, and the switch of your mic now. Yeah, thank you so much, Omondi. Uh, Omondi, so are, are you listening to me, Omondi? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, just switch off your mic. Uh, I think uh, perhaps you might have misunderstood uh, that statement of Kilifi branch or something like that. 
It's because that account number is in Kilifi branch. However, if you are in Kisumu or Lodwa, you can go to the bank and uh, pay uh, without any problem. As long as you indicate that this is one university and this account is in Kilifi uh, Cooperative uh, Branch or KCB Branch or Chess Bank, whatever, Equity Bank, that information is normally asked by the bank itself. They normally ask, where is this account? Then you say it is in Cooperative Bank, Kilifi Branch and belongs to Pwani University. So you can pay uh, anywhere. I think uh, even those of us who are here in Kilifi, we pay for universities in Nairobi uh, just here in Kilifi. And we just indicate this is an account for University of Nairobi, uh, uh, Uru Highway branch, uh, but then you pay from Kilifi, uh, Kilifi town. So that is okay. So please pay wherever uh, wherever you are. Uh, I was uh, talking about uh, hostels, and I said uh, once you are cleared with the registration, then the guidelines are very clear. You can now start the process to book your uh, hostel um, uh, room. I think that is still on, and if not, new, uh, Peter can correct me and tell me whether it is true or not. But as far as I'm concerned, I think we still have some bed space uh, on campus, uh, hostels on, on campus. Uh, then um, there are some questions uh, still coming, whether you can pay halfway or not. I think uh, it is your first engagement with the university. And uh, I always advise, uh, please pay full. And then, if you have challenges in future going forward, let us know, and we can now uh, uh, try to see how we can help you. Uh, if you can be paying uh, halfway or whatever um, after a certain period of time, but this being the first engagement, I think uh, they will not uh, accept any halfway uh, payments. You have to pay in full then you can join uh, uh, the bank, I mean, you can join um, the university uh, for your studies. So you need to pay uh, in full. Uh, issues to do with the transfers, I think Professor Muoki uh, dealt with that. There will be a window which will be opened uh, for you to be able to transfer to the course that you want. This is inter and intra. Uh, school transfer. You can transfer within your school. For example, you've been asked to do, you've been called to do Bachelor of Arts, but you think you can do Bachelor of Education, that is inter school transfer. But you can also say, I was asked to do Bachelor of Arts in the School of Education, but I think I am good in Bachelor of Commerce. So, Bachelor of Commerce is housed in the School of Business. So in that case, you do an inter-transfer. Uh, you move from the school of education to the school of business. But you can still do intra, that you can move from one program to another program within uh, the same school. There will be a window. Please, as I said, make it a habit of visiting the university website. Just see what is new for you. Uh, you should be able uh, to capture this. But tentatively, we are saying most likely it will happen between 24th and 28th of this month because we expect studies to begin uh, on the 31st of August um, this uh, month. So please uh, do that uh, as soon as you can. Okay, um, I think i um, winding up unless uh, there is a question uh, or something which my colleagues have captured, which I have not seen on the public chat and which we need to treat it with urgency uh, so that we can be able to 
uh, assist the student in case there's something that uh, is challenging uh, you. Uh, feel free, we have given you our contacts, our emails, uh, which you can contact us and uh, raise uh, the issues. So if there is no question and my colleagues are satisfied with what uh, we have done, I want to say that, uh, uh, is it Derily? You have a question? Yes. Yes. yes, I have a question. Yes. So can I change my course after semester registration or I should change my course now before semester registration? Okay, uh, thank you, Daryl. Uh, I can't, yes, Daryl Kennedy, I don't know that that's your name. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's something very simple, Daryl. Uh, you can't change in the air or you can't change outside the gate. You have to become a student of Kwani University. First of all, you must first become a student of one university. Then now we change you because the government has sent you here uh, to come and do a particular course. But you think you can do a better course than that one. So first you come, we receive you uh, in line with the instructions from KUCCPS. And then we now open the window for you, if you qualify, uh, to change your course. So you must first become a student of Kwani, then you can change. Otherwise, if you are not, you are outside there, uh, you're just like any other ordinary Kenyan, and they have no basis of coming to change courses on campus. Thank you. I think I've answered you very well. Thank you. Okay. Any other question from... Uh, Any other question? I've seen Purity. Purity was surely, uh, she's asking, I paid. You have not said when you pay, but I have been uh, saying here that uh, the banks normally reconcile uh, their records with the university every end of uh, um, business day, uh, but depends on the MOU. I think many students who are banking in cooperative bank, uh, let us give them about 24 hours. Uh, I have had that experience. Uh, the MOU between COP and the PANI, I think, has given that uh, period of time, uh, 24 hours. So they should be able, uh, uh, they should be able to pick your data uh, from the bank, and then you'll be able to uh, register. So if it goes beyond 24 hours, uh, please uh, let me know. Let us know that uh, you have uh, that challenge. Uh, I wish you could have said exactly when you pay, because we pick it straight now with the finance office so that you can uh, be assisted. Okay. Uh, uh, my portal is not working. I think uh, uh, Peter is uh, saying you need this. I think say exactly what is the problem. If it is the password, uh, there's a you know, uh, default uh, password which has been given. That is 2020, the P being a capital letter. So use that password and I think you'll be sorted to join uh, your portal and then thereafter you can I think it will uh, prompt you to put uh, the right, I mean, your own password so that in future uh, you can be able, you are, you are the only one who can join or who, who can access that portal. Um, yes, uh, I think uh, I'm not seeing any other question that I can tackle. And I'm not seeing anybody who wants to say something. Um, then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would wish to I would wish to stop here. Though there's something coming, uh, 
subjects that I should undertake in education course. I think if you are admitted to do education course, you must have two teaching subjects. Could be history, Kiswahili, or could be chemistry, biology, chemistry, mathematics, or something like that. Those are your subjects or teaching subjects. Unless you are asking for this, I'm um, in reference to Destiny Nyambu uh, subjects, or you mean courses. Uh, they, somebody explained yesterday and even today, uh, we don't have subjects in the university. What you used to call subjects in the secondary school, here they are referred to as courses. And what you are doing is a program. So if it is education arts, that is a program. Now, within education arts, there are courses which you take. Now, you need to register first, become a student. Uh, we go through the transfer, if there are any transfers. And then thereafter, there will be unit registration, um, course registration. The courses you need to take, you'll be asked to register. They are already uh, in a document, but you need to pick them from that document and enroll yourself that you are a student taking those particular courses. Uh, so that is what I want to add. Uh, what I want to add. Omondi. Omondi, you want to say Just something? Just one question. One question, OK? Yeah. OK. Uh, when uh, when you are, when you want to do the inter school transfer, yes, does it necessarily mean that you have you have, must have paid your fees or what happens? I just want to know. Yes, uh, the inter school transfer. Yes, I am repeating myself again. You cannot transfer from the air, you must transfer from a certain program to another program. And for you to be a program, you must have registered in that program. And you to register to that program, you must have paid full fees. So you pay fee, okay. you get registered in the program that you are called to do, and then you raise your hand and say, oh, look here, I want to move to another program. And we give you that opportunity. So you must be in a certain okay. place so that you transfer. You cannot transfer from the air. That's the statement I'm using. You must be in a program. Thank you. OK, thank you. OK. Uh, OK, uh, Peter, this is another Peter. OK, OK. Peter, thank you so much. I think you are handling most of them. Uh, let the chats, let the questions keep on coming. But let us kindly meet uh, tomorrow uh, from 9, uh, where the vice chancellor will be addressing uh, all the students. This is now for all students. Don't say my, my program, I mean, my school, or whatever, whatever. It is all students admitted to uni one university should join uh, this conference, and then they get addressed by the vice chancellor. With those remarks, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that this session is now adjourned. Thank you very much and God bless you all.